everybody here for a quick uh, stata tutorial using the two-way scatter plot option uh, so let's call up some data here we'll go to our tried and true data source from the Woldridge textbook we'll do the wage one data set so that BCU's command uh, so we've got our primary variables uh, hourly wage uh, level of education and then we've got gender right so obviously, if we're thinking about running a regression, right, estimating wage as a function of education, work experience, and gender, we're going to be using interaction terms, dummy variables, slope dummy variables. Uh, but for our purposes right now, we just want to get the visuals of this, right? So one way to do this is with a simple scatter plot, right? So we do the scatter between wage and education. And if we're thinking about that gender differential, we might use the if option. So if the female dummy variable takes on the value one, we would look at that relationship. Uh, so we get our kind of expected positive education versus wage relationship. So that's just for females within the sample. And then we could do the same thing for the males within the sample, the same scatter plot if female equals zero. And more variation, more observations looks like um, looks like we have a higher uh, maximum wage level but putting these side by side it's not going to be obvious what the relationship is uh, between wage versus education across genders so within stata we can do all of that together in one graph uh, with the two-way option so if we start out with two-way and then in parentheses use that scatter command again just like we had scatter between our y variable wage our x variable education for one subgroup so if female is equal to zero and then we can overlay on top of that another scatter plot for the other group so the same variables wage versus education if the female dummy variable takes on the value one and it's going to differentiate these by color is going to be the default so we've got it looks like the blue dots here that's for the male subsample the red for the female uh, we can change that we can specify how we want to have those colors to make it a little bit more obvious what the uh, what the graph is telling us so we can call that command back up and within each scatter command in that two-way option uh, we can have uh, options for marker type marker color uh, and a lot of other things we can do as well uh, but say we want to have the female markers i'm sorry here's the female equal to zero so these are the, the male markers will be blue so m color and then in parentheses blue and then when the female dummy is equal to one let's say marker color so m color will be red that way we know what we're looking at so yes indeed the red that's going to be our uh, female the blue the males so now it's kind of starting to tell us a little bit of a story here so it looks like the the male observations are going to be a little bit higher uh, and again more variability so some visual evidence perhaps of gender discrimination in the labor market we can further differentiate the uh, the outcomes there by a uh, different symbol types so again past that comma here we can add in additional options so we can type in marker symbol or m symbol and there's a whole dictionary of of how stata is going to uh, differentiate different symbols here if you have a lowercase o such as that in parentheses that's going to give us a small dot as our symbol a uppercase o that's what we have now that's the default uh, the larger dot and then a lowercase p that's going to be a point uh, and we can also put in a t for a triangle so let's maybe do that to make it super obvious what we're looking at so when females equal to zero the male subsample we're going to see the blue triangles there we go and then maybe one more layer we could add onto this is explicitly show the best fit 
linear regression line between wage and education for each of the subsamples, we can overlay that on top of this graph as well within the same two-way command. It doesn't really matter where we put this, but let's, after the scatter plot for female equal to zero, let's now use in parentheses the L fit command. So that's going to give the linear fit between our same variables, right? Our y variable wage, our x variable education, and with the same parameters if females equal to zero, we'll have one line. And then we'll do the same thing, L fit wage education if our dummy variable is equal to one. And we'll run that and now we should see our differentiated scatter plots and two different prediction lines. And there we have it. So this lower line here, again, unfortunately, uh, is indicating the wage versus education prediction line for females, and then the upper line is for males. And then what we might want to do, just to get, make it super obvious what we're doing, uh, is make the colors match, right? So let's go back to our command here. So for the female equal to one, that was our red dots in the scatter plot. So let's make that a red line. And then call it up one more time. And for our L fit for female equal to zero, let's go color blue. There we go. So the male blue triangles, blue prediction line, females red circles, red prediction line. That tells a pretty good story uh, and all within that one two-way command. Uh, so there's obviously more stuff we could do here. Um, once we have our graph kind of looking the way we want it, we can right click here and go start graph editor. And that's probably the easiest way to start to change some of the labels. You could do all of this within the command structure as well, right? Uh, so our fitted values here, just we can make it, again, super clear to our readers what we're doing. So that's going to be our predicted wage for males. Change that and then click down here and the the text comes up that we can edit now. All right, so this is going to be our predicted wage for females, and then we can do the same thing here. All right, so wage, change that to male wage, something like that, and then click down here, edit the text up here female wage. There we go. Plop that into your paper. That's a pretty good uh, visual depiction of this relationship, and it should correspond to the regression that you would then be estimating. So, hope that was helpful. Again, lots more we could do here, um, but just scratching the surface. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.